Hi everyone, I'm going to walk you through how to create a scatter plot using Google Sheets. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to your Google Drive. And when you go to your Google Drive, um, click on New, and you're going to select Google Sheets. When you click that, you will open a window that looks like this, without the data, of course. Um, so what I'm going to show you is um, how to um, create a scatter plot once you have data um, inputted into your spreadsheet. So the first thing that you would, okay, actually, let's back up. What I've decided to do is um, I wanted to know, is there a relationship between the number of uh, people that follow you on Instagram and the number of people that you follow on Instagram? So what I did was I looked at 12 of my friends on Instagram and I recorded their followers and the number of people that they're following. Um, and these, this is real, uh, real information, by the way, so I'm not making it up. Um, so um, what I would do um, for any data is to write down what you're measuring in one column over here in the title. You would just type it out and then um, uh, what you're measuring uh, for the other variable uh, in this column here, in this um, cell. And so each row represents one person. So this person had 49 followers and we're following 190. This person had 539 followers and was following 512. And so I did that 12 times. So once you have your information organized like this, this is how you're going to create a scatter plot. So you click and drag and you highlight your information. You can do that. Or you can click and drag and highlight the columns. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, you are then going to go up here to insert uh, chart right over here. Once you click on that, it will automatically create a scatter plot. Um, and if for some reason it gives you another kind of plot, you can just click on chart type here and you can change it. Okay, so right away it, it graphs us the data. Now what we need though is a line of best fit. So in this chart editor window here, you're going to click on customize. You're going to go down to this tab that says series. And you're going to scroll down and it's going to call, it's going to say there's a, a trend line box here. You're going to click on that and it creates a line of best fit. Um, now, what you also, what I'm going to ask you to do is also click on this button here. It says show R squared. So R squared is a number between zero and one that um, measures how closely the dots are um, uh, close to the line. Okay, so if the line, eh, sorry, if the dots are really, really, really close to the line, that number will be at one or really close to one. Um, but when they're nowhere near the line, then that would be near zero. So um, for an R squared value, okay, um, and this isn't universal, um, so th these are the guidelines that we're going to be using. Uh, if the R squared value is between 0 and 0 0.1, then there's really little or no correlation between the two variables. Um, if it's between 0 0.11 and 0 0.33, let's say, then we'll, we'll call that a weak correlation. So the dots are weakly uh, close to the line, and the, and the two variables are weakly correlated to each other. When, it's, um, when that R squared number is 0 0.34 to 0 0.66, there's a moderate correlation. So there's pretty close. Uh, so they're kind of related. But then when if that R squared value is between 0 0.67 and 1, then there is a strong correlation. So just going back to mine here, this is 0 0.619. So I would say that there's a moderate correlation between the number of followers that someone has and following. So there is a moderate positive correlation and um, the relationship would be the more followers someone has, the more people that they are following. So I can see that there is somewhat of a relationship between these two variables. So that's how you use Google Sheets to create a very quick and very snazzy looking um, scatterplot.